Can the Warhammer Titan kill Annie? So what's up guys, Fox in here. The latest Attack on Titan chapter gave you some interesting possibilities for Annie's situation. Now that only manga readers are still here, let's talk about the latest development involving not only the Warhammer but also the Jaws Titan. That's right, I'm talking about Eren's coconut cracking technique using the Jaws. This whole scene involving the Jaws Titan is important for a few reasons. One of the top things that it shows you is that it is possible to penetrate this Titan crystal. Recall back from the previous chapter, Eren originally tried to shatter Miss Warhammer's crystal by biting it. You saw how that turned out. Eren's mouth got completely destroyed. What's worth noting here is Eren's thoughts about it being similar to Annie's crystal. This is very likely implying that he's tried to be four. I could guarantee you that Hanji has been busy trying out various experiments on Annie's crystal. You could easily picture it. Hanji just demanding Eren to bite the damn thing. It likely would have resulted in what you saw happen against the Tiber sister. Some of you have also brought up this question. Why wouldn't Hanji just try to bomb it? The scouts do have those lightning spears available, but forget about that. In general, Hanji has the ability to conjure up some more effective and bigger explosions. I mean, you did see Levi use that bomb on the Beast Titan's ass. The scouts have also been using various other explosives, so then you're left to wonder, why didn't Hanji just try this instead? To that, I'll just say, who says that she hasn't? I got a feeling that explosions were definitely used to try to break out Annie. I would even bet that Hanji managed to destroy part of the crystal via explosions. Although this then might have been the reason why Hanji hesitated on this, which would have been the high potential of killing Annie with these explosions. I mean, look at it this way. You do want to get Annie out of that crystal, but at the same time, you do need Annie alive in one piece. One mistake using explosions and boom, you just killed the blonde warrior. A Neodian somewhere, possibly in Marley, would have gained the female titan power. Anyway, let's also not forget this. Eren could have still got something else hard to smash Annie. That's right, his crystal fists. Recall back to his battle with Reiner. Eren noticed how focusing on getting hard in one specific location made the crystal extremely effective against the armor titan. In this latest chapter, Eren noticed how not only the jaws mount, but also its claws were able to damage the crystal. So let's take a look at this. I got a feeling that this ability isn't unique to the Jaws Titan. The Jaws Titan may only be able to do this by default, shattering crystal. But why not other Titans? Other Titans like the Beast Titan and Armor Titan have been seen to be able to summon claw weapons too by getting hard. I don't see why Eren's Attack Titan couldn't do the same. This whole battle started with the Attack Titan using his favorite crystal knuckle punch. But just a little later, Eren tried to tank the Warhammer's hammer. At this point, part of the Attack Titan's arms also got that car crystal. I don't see why Eren, who seems to be pretty effective at using the Titan crystal, wouldn't also be able to come up with some claws of his own. So to summarize this, what is Effective versus Annie and her crystal cocoon? Annie's crystal versus Titan teeth? Sorry, that's like rock versus scissors. Your chompers are gone. Annie's crystal versus Titan claws? The Jaws claws seem to be a counter for it. Then you also got the Armor Titan and the Beast Titan that had used claws before. It's also possible that the Card Titan and Eren's Attack Titan can also use his Claw ability. Annie's Crystal versus a hard Attack Titan Fist? It is questionable whether this could break the crystal, but I believe if Eren focuses too hard enough to the fullest, then it's goodbye Annie's Crystal. Maybe even Annie. Annie's Crystal versus the Jaws' Jaws? The latest chapter showed you this easily shattered. I just wonder, could Eren possibly do the same if he got his jaw temporarily hard? Oh, and just a fun one. Annie's crystal versus Armin's colossal nuke. You know what would happen, she would be totally vaporized. What this all comes down to is that there's several possibilities of getting Annie outside of that crystal over the past four years. But wait, there's more. The latest Attack on Titan chapter now gave Eren a new little titan to play around with. Yes, I'm assuming for this video that Eren actually got the Warhammer power. If for whatever reason Annie is still inside that damn crystal on Paradise Island, with the Warhammer Attack Titan, Eren can now make countless crystal weapons to help Annie out. And really, Eren only needs one, the actual Warhammer. So Annie versus Eren's Warhammer? The result is Annie completely smashed by Eren's hammer. Let's just hope Eren doesn't overdo it. But hey, that's an Attack on Titan theory. Anyway, more important, let me hear from you. Question of the day. How do you think Annie could be freed from her crystal? Has Hanji blown her out using explosives? Did Eren find a previous way to shatter the crystal? Does anyone out there really think that Annie is still inside of her crystal? If so, could Eren now wake up Annie using his new Warhammer power? Anyway, go ahead and give this a close thumbs up and subscribe. More juicy Attack on Titan videos are coming every week.
be sure to check out my discussions for the latest Attack on Titan manga chapter. And don't forget, Annie recently returned in the anime with their Lost Girl special. Don't miss my breakdown for Annie's finale, and I'll see you guys later.